So Susan, is this how the tower garden comes? No, actually it's, it's in pieces. So all these are separate pieces and the kids put it all together. So we start with them. Uh, the base is down here. There's a pump that is in here that pumps the water. I'll pull that out. This is the pump that pumps the water all the way to the top. Okay. This is the shower cap. And then the water just trickles down and feeds. So there's A and B tonic that we use, which will be all organic. Um, and then that's it. The, um, the tower that we have over here, these aren't, these aren't ready yet because we got to get some more seed, seedlings, but we have these two towers here that are already running. And I think you can, you can hear them, yes. right? And uh, these are the little seedlings. So we have uh, kale. Uh, uh, we, we are going to do cucumbers again because the kids okay. love to make dill pickles. So we make jars and jars of dill pickles. Um, and we have all sorts of Swiss chard. And then the plants get transplanted into the other garden? No. Or they just grow they, from they here? They grow from here. It, okay. it gets huge. And I do have I do have pictures of that. I've seen those. Okay. <laughs> it gets huge and massive. So um, not only do the kids uh, cook and they harvest from here, but they also we also take it over to the Opportunity House and we feed the homeless over there. Wonderful. So we take a whole group of teens and tweens over, over to the Opportunity House and they cut it all, cook it, they, they find the recipes using Swiss chard and kale and all the great nutritious plants that we Teaching have. Teaching them at a young age about the, the power of nutrition. Yes. And growing their own foods. Yep. And then when they go to the grocery stores with their families, they can say, hey mom, let's buy some of this. They're begging for kale. Yes. And, and when you can have kids begging for kale, uh, you can't go wrong there. Well, wonderful. Thank yes, you. Yes, thank you.